Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Chapter 51. Being ruthlessly rejected by Morong Fu and Morong Qingxie, Nalan Shiji's face instantly turned extremely ugly. He looked at the two of them with some resentment. How dare you reject this young master? Taking a deep breath to suppress the anger in his heart, Nalan Shigen stared at Morong Fu and Morong Qingxie suddenly. You must know that this young master is not only the young patriarch of the Nalan family, but also the young patriarch of the Tai Sword sect. He represents two major forces behind his back. Do you, the Morong family, want to be so unkind to you because you want to antagonize these two powerful forces? After saying that, Nalan Shiji showed a trace of morbid possessiveness on his face, stared at Morong Qingxie with burning eyes, and continued to add in a solemn voice. Continue to fulfill the engagement and let Sister Qingxie marry this young master. These major forces can still live in peace. Otherwise, once my master and grandfather are really angry, the situation of the Morong family will be difficult to predict. Senran's words did not conceal the threat at all. Stimulated by being slapped in the face and possessive, Nalan Shiji had no lower limit at this time. There was just one thought in his mind. He must get Morong Qingxie, press her under him and train her hard, and finally completely transform into his shape. This way, only in this way can he wash away the shame of being rejected in public and give his self-esteem some comfort. Roll. After hearing what Nalan Shiji said, Morong Fu, who had always had a good temper, finally couldn't bear it anymore. Amidst the roar, his cultivation aura suddenly exploded, and he stared at Nalan Shiji coldly. From today on, my Morong family and your Nalan family will sever all ties with each other. If you dare to threaten me again, I won't mind killing you on the spot in front of him. After finishing this sentence, Morong Fu raised his hand and clapped his hand, and his true energy blasted out like a torrent. Morong Fu, how dare you? After seeing that Morong Fu's palm did not hold back at all, the old man in grey roared with cultivation, and raised his hand to meet Morong Fu's palm. Boom, the next moment, with the explosion of roar, the floor of the hall burst on the spot. Under a terrible shock, Xiao Chen, Morong Qingxie and others were all forced back. Some tables and chairs were shattered into pieces on the spot. Nalan Shiji and the old man in grey were blasted out of the hall on the spot by this palm strike. Old man, you dare to take action against me. Your Morong family is in trouble. After stabilizing himself with a look of shock on his face, Nalan Shiji roared angrily. Ever since he was young, he has been a star among the stars, especially after being accepted as a disciple by the master of the Tai Sword sect. In this three-thirds of an acre of land in Wangzhou, even some local city lords had to act based on his expression. Who would have thought that Morong Fu, an old man, would be so shameless that he would even dare to attack him? Walk, seeing Nalan Shiji being so angry that he was uttering cruel words without knowing whether he was alive or not, wasn't this just looking for excitement? The old man in grey frowned slightly, grabbed Nalan Shiji and jumped away. Although Tai Sword Sect is not afraid of the Morong family. But over a marriage, he completely broke up with a local city lord and went to war. This is obviously impossible. After all, Tai Sword Sect is also a big force with a good reputation. It is impossible for them to go to war with other forces in a big way just because of the junior's personal affairs. And still without being reasonable. After watching the old man in grey clothes take Nalan Shiji away with a disgraced look on his face, Morong Fu's expression softened a little. Young master is just kidding. He turned around and hugged Xiao Chen. Morong Fu immediately took off the space ring on his hand, wiped off the soul mark and handed it directly to Xiao Chen. It contains not only my life savings, but also the purple pill of restoration that the young master needs. Now they all belong to the young master. Although Xiao Chen has not yet taken action to cure Morong Bo at this time, it does not hinder Morong Fu's trust and gratitude towards Xiao Chen. In less than an hour of contact, he was completely impressed by Xiao Chen. He obviously possesses heaven-defying medical skills and has extraordinary talents and qualifications, but his character is neither humble nor arrogant, neither arrogant nor arrogant. Compared with this idiot Nalan Shiji, he is as big as heaven and earth. If the person Morong Qingxie entrusts with his life is a handsome and outstanding man like Xiao Chen, his old father will be able to rest in peace even if he dies. Thinking of this, Morong Fu thought of Morong Qingxue's words, and a strange color appeared in his eyes. 
perhaps, with Morong Qingshui's current appearance, there really is some hope. Between thoughts, Morong Fu looked at his daughter, only to find that Morong Qingshui was secretly looking at Xiao Chen, her eyes flickering as if she was a little shy. This made his eyes brighter. This, looks interesting. At the same time, Morong Qingshui saw her father looking at her strangely. The whole person was startled on the spot and quickly turned his head with a look of shame. A blush spread from her face to her neck. She didn't expect that her father would catch her peeking at Mr. Xiao. This situation would be too embarrassing. Xiao Chen didn't know about the two people's little moves at this time. Nothing artificial at all. After taking the Naji from Morong Fu, Xiao Chen immediately checked it. Follow the soul thought to explore into the Naji. The first thing that caught the eye was a hill made of spiritual crystals, the number of which was estimated to be at least one million. Secondly, there are various treasures suspended around the spiritual crystal hill. Among them are not only divine ability, elixirs and mysterious weapons, spirit medicine beast cores, but also some precious monster corpse materials. If all these things are added up, they should be worth one or two million spiritual crystals. And most importantly, Xiao Chen found a sealed purple elixir in one of the elixir bottles. Resurrection Purple Pill A panacea whose value can be worth all the resources in this ring is also the goal of his trip. Now this elixir is finally in hand. With this elixir and these resources, it is enough for Kayan to return to her peak cultivation level. By then, with the protection of a strong man in the ninth level of heaven and man, he could almost walk sideways in the deserted state. But before that, Let's help old Mr. Morong recover from his injuries. When the thought falls, Xiao Chen withdrew his soul thought from the space ring, and his eyes fell on Morong Bo in the wheelchair. Mr. Morong, next, I will help you stand up again. Thank you Mr. Xiao, cough cough cough. Hearing Xiao Chen's words, Morong Fu and Morong Qingxie were ecstatic, and even Morong Bo himself was so excited that he thanked him. Xiao Chen nodded when he heard this and didn't say any more nonsense at this time. Immediately, he clasped his hands together and pinched out a series of seals again, and the vast Junyuan turned into countless runes surrounding the surroundings. After some random operations, Xiao Chen pointed at Morong Bo and at the same time issued repair instructions to the system. Ding, the system has deducted 23,000 points and is repairing the injury of the character Morong Bo. As expected of a universal truth realm powerhouse, it cost more than 20,000 points to completely repair the injuries on his body. Hearing the system beep, Xiao Chen's face showed a strange color, but he didn't feel distressed at this time. After all, he earned more than just these points today. Next, he helped Morong Bo repair his old injuries and hidden diseases. He even wanted to help him restore his cultivation. After all, the Morong family has been impressed by him now. If they can help Morong Bo recover his cultivation, there will be another strong man behind him. This is definitely a guaranteed profit. Chapter 52 Seeing Xiao Chen using his medical skills again, everyone held their breath for fear of disturbing Xiao Chen's spell casting. Only Kayan showed a hint of doubt, and then her expression became a little solemn. He remembered that Xiao Chen didn't seem to use any of these fancy seal techniques when he was repairing Xiao Zan's injuries. It seems that this old guy was seriously injured, and he was able to let the young master use his hand seals. And with the flash of white light, it exploded. Morong Bo felt as if his whole body was soaking in a spring of life, and all the damaged and exhausted body functions were revived and revitalized at this time. This feeling almost made him moan, but fortunately he resisted the urge to speak. A handful of years. It's not good to scare young master Xiao. It didn't take long for Xiao Chen to retract his palm and all the runes on his body were restrained. Okay, how do you feel? Looking at Morong Bo who was more than 10 years younger in front of him, Xiao Chen asked with a faint smile. Hiss. Okay, everything is really healed. I felt that my body was breathing unusually smoothly, with no urge to cough at all, and even my lower body had regained consciousness. Morong Bo's eyes widened at this moment, and he immediately stood up and moved his body. Ha ha ha, I, Morong Bo, can finally stand up again. After feeling the long lost earth, Morong Bo immediately looked up to the sky and laughed wildly, kneeling heavily in front of Xiao Chen. Old man Morong Bo, thank you Mr. Xiao for your great kindness. Morong Fu and Morong Qingxie saw their elders knelt down and thanked them. 
At this time, he didn't even dare to stand, so he immediately knelt down towards Xiao Chen. Hey, hey, why are you all kneeling down again? Seeing this scene in front of him, Xiao Chen felt a little headache. This family was too polite. They knelt down to him at every turn, which made him uncomfortable. After all, he made no effort at all, just made a few random gestures, and left the rest to the system. Nowadays, resources have been greatly profited, and even the reputation has been fully profited. So he was already very satisfied with this trip and didn't need to enjoy too much kneeling. Now that your injuries have fully recovered, you just need to return to your previous cultivation level. After signaling Morong Bo and others to stand up, Xiao Chen continued with a faint smile. Next, I will find a way to smelt a soul resurrection purple pill, which should be able to help you restore your previous cultivation. When seeing the purple pill of restoration, a bold idea came to his mind, but he didn't know yet whether it would work. If that works, he should be able to get a lot of soul resurrection purple pills, and there is no harm in taking one out to help Morong Bo recover his cultivation. What? After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Morong Bo, Morong Fu and others showed a look of shock on their faces. Obviously he couldn't believe what he was hearing. Xiao Chen helped them twice, which was already a huge kindness, and now he plans to help Morong Bo recover his cultivation. What kind of virtues and talents does the Morong family have that makes it worth Xiao Chen's sacrifice for them? Don't get too excited first. This is just my idea. You have to wait for me to verify it. If it doesn't work, then Mr. Morong's cultivation will have to wait until later to recover. Seeing Morong Bo and others trembling with excitement, they looked like they were going to kneel down in front of him again. Xiao Chen waved his hand at this time and vaccinated several people first. Young Master Xiao has such a heart. It is already a great blessing. How dare we force it? Morong Bo waved his hand after hearing this and said with a grateful expression. If Xiao Chen hadn't appeared today, I'm afraid he would have been reduced to a cold corpse in less than three days. As for Morong Qingxie, this child was divorced by Nalan Shiji. From now on, I will definitely feel despair, and I will probably kill myself. Even Morong Fu might be in trouble in the future if he lost two close relatives one after another. Therefore, Xiao Chen's appearance today will not only save him, but also the entire Morong family. Well, help me prepare a quieter room. Next. I want to test the idea. Xiao Chen nodded when he heard this and didn't say any more polite words. After explaining to Morong Bo and others, under the arrangement of the other party, they came to the wing in the courtyard next to Morong Qingxie. Kian didn't say anything. After taking a look at Morong Qingxie, she twisted her waist to follow Xiao Chen. If she didn't feel wrong, this is another slut who is infatuated with Mr. Xiao and is probably the sister she will get along with in the future. Mr. Xiao is so outstanding. I had only been out for two or three days when I was targeted by a nymphomaniac. It seems that if she doesn't seize the opportunity, she will be ranked very low in the future. When the thoughts emerged in her mind, Kian looked at Xiao Chen's back and her eyes couldn't help but flicker. Ahem, you've gone far, are you still looking? Watching Xiao Chen and Kai Yan disappear around the corner, Morong Bo looked at Morong Qingxie who looked infatuated and couldn't help but coughed and joked at this moment. Grandpa, what are you talking about? After hearing Morong Bo's words, Morong Qingxie was startled, and only then did she come to her senses. Her pretty face immediately turned red with embarrassment, and she spoke in a sultry voice. Ha ha ha, Grandpa has lived this long, how can he not see that you are tempted? Seeing Morong Qingxue's rare expression, Morong Bo couldn't help but laugh out loud. Master Xiao is a rare and amazing talent. If you like him, you must take advantage of him. After all, my Xiao Shui is also a great beauty now, no worse than anyone else. But Mr. Xiao already has such an outstanding beauty beside him, how could he still like me, a little girl? Hearing Morong Bo's seemingly teasing encouragement, Morong Qingxie couldn't help lowering her head and said with a somewhat inferior tone. Although Kian was veiled and didn't say anything, but also as a woman, she could feel that this was a stunning beauty whose appearance was not inferior to hers. Moreover, the opponent's cultivation level is much higher than hers, and he even has a temperament that she can't compare with, just like a true superior. Such an outstanding woman is worthy of Mr. Xiao. How could someone like her, 
who had transformed from an ugly creature, be qualified to be worthy of Mr. Xiao. Silly girl, you have to strive for happiness by yourself. If you like it, just chase it boldly. A man as elegant and extraordinary as Mr. Xiao, who possesses extraordinary abilities, will rarely be pursued by beautiful women in the future. If you don't have the courage to try to stand by his side, you may not even have the courage to get close to him in the future. As if he could see that Morong Qingxie still had a low self-esteem and could not get over the shadow of being an alien in the past, Morong Bo reached out and patted Morong Qingxie on the shoulder. You are no worse than anyone else now, you just lack confidence. And human life is short, so you might as well be bold and chase one person across a mountain. But don't let yourself leave any regrets. Grandpa will always support you behind you. Grandfather. After hearing Morong Bo's words, Morong Qingxue's body trembled, and she raised her head and her eyes were a little red. Unexpectedly, her passion for a man would actually receive support from her elders. This was unimaginable before. Morong Fu, who was on the side, turned a little red after seeing this. Such a heartwarming scene. If Morong Qingxue's mother saw this, she would probably feel very relieved at this time. And you brat, what do you mean by holding your tongue and not speaking? You don't support your daughter chasing Mr. Xiao. Before Morong Fu could sigh with emotion for long, he suddenly received a slap on the forehead. Look up. Seeing Morong Bo blowing his beard and staring at him made his head feel a little buzzing. If you hadn't been drunk and arranged a bastard marriage for Qingxie, how would my Xiao Shui be wrong today? Xiao Shui's happiness will be in her own hands from now on. If you kiddos something else, do you think I will break your legs? Seeing Morong Fu, the city lord, being taught like a child by Morong Bo. The corners of Morong Qingxue's mouth couldn't help but lift slightly, revealing a charming and charming smile. The Morong family has really changed, becoming more energetic and festive than before. This person was given by Mr. Xiao, so in this life, dot she must not let him down. After her expression gradually became cheerful, Morong Qingxie also made up her mind. You must dedicate yourself to Mr. Xiao and become the beauty beside him. Chapter 53 The Other Side After walking into the side room, Xiao Chen ignored Kian who followed him, and immediately sat down cross-legged and took out the soul-reviving purple pill. Then use the identification function directly. A rank 7 low-grade fulling purple pill contains many impurities, and the potency of the integrated union is not perfect. Closing square bracket Due to the long storage time and improper sealing technique, nearly 40% of the medicinal power has been lost. Closing square bracket. The current potency of the medicine can restore the injured high-level powerhouse to the first level of universal truth. Closing square bracket. It is indeed a defective product. Looking at the properties of this elixir, Xiao Chen immediately shook his head. The medicine had lost 40% of its potency and contained many impurities. It was worse than he expected. However, even if this elixir is a bit rubbish, if it is put up for auction outside. Without one or two million spiritual crystals, it would be impossible to get it. This is why things are rare and valuable. The system, as long as the item is in a damaged state, you can restore it to its complete form by consuming points. After appraising the resurrection purple pill, Xiao Chen asked abruptly. Ding. As long as the remaining part of the item reaches 100% of its complete form, the system can be restored to completeness. Except for soul consciousness and divine ability. After Xiao Chen asked, the system replied mechanically. This made Xiao Chen's eyes instantly brighten. Hiss. Dot 1%. Xiao Chen took a deep breath, suppressed the urge to shout that the system was awesome, and looked at Fu Ling Zidan with burning eyes. Immediately afterwards, spiritual sense covered it, and the cultivation level exploded at this moment. The strands of true qi were like indestructible hair, directly dividing the soul resurrection purple pill in front of me into a hundred parts. This is what he was thinking just now. Since the system can repair incomplete things, is it possible to divide the complete things and then consume system points to restore them to integrity? In this way, he can get many of the same products, and he can also upgrade the products. I never thought that this idea could really be realized. Master, Kian felt a little confused when she saw Xiao Chen's sudden burst of cultivation and directly split the resurrection purple pill. Even if the resurrection purple pill is a little bit off, there seems to be no need to destroy the pill, right? Could it be that, 
young master is going to perform some unprecedented refining technique. As the thoughts in her mind turned around, Kyan seemed to have thought of something, but she held back her words at this moment. He just stared at Xiao Chen with burning eyes, fearing that he would miss some wonderful details. System, repair this fragment of the resurrection purple pill completely. In Kyan's confused and guessing eyes, Xiao Chen then put away the fragments of the resurrection purple pill, keeping only one of them for repair. Ding, the system has deducted 20,000 points and is repairing the resurrection purple pill for the host. Almost as Xiao Chen finished speaking, the system prompt sounded suddenly, which made Xiao Chen couldn't help but widen his eyes. Hiss, I actually want 20,000 points. Buzz. Almost when Xiao Chen was shocked, a dazzling white light burst out. Immediately afterwards, in a burst of purple light, a brand new soul resurrection purple pill also appeared in front of Xiao Chen's eyes. Young master, you actually used a piece of pill fragment to melt a new pill out of thin air. When Kyan on the side saw this scene, even though she was a celestial human realm expert, she was almost fainted by Xiao Chen. This method of creating something almost out of thin air was beyond her scope of cognition. If she hadn't still had a little bit of concentration, she would have knelt down on the spot and licked Xiao Chen wildly. This is simply a method like that of an immortal, even the supreme great emperor is nothing more than this. System, how many points does it cost to repair a pill? Xiao Chen ignored Kian's flushed face with excitement, and instead asked the system this deceptive question in his heart. Dang, the points consumed by the system are all measured based on the grade of the target item and its degree of damage. The higher the quality level, the higher the degree of damage, and the more points consumed. When Xiao Chen looked pained, the system replied mechanically. Fine, after Xiao Chen was silent for a while, he also figured out the key points. Divide a whole thing into a hundred parts, take out one part, and restore it to wholeness. There is almost no big difference between this approach and re-refining. Just like when Morong Bo was repaired before, the other party's cultivation had reached the second level of universal truth and had reached the point where the oil lamp was exhausted. Recovering all the opponent's injuries and illnesses is equivalent to forging it all over again. So I spent more than 20,000 points before. Although the consumption cost is a bit high, this operation is still abnormal. Looking at the resurrection purple pill in his hand, the scent of the medicine was much stronger than before, and Xiao Chen showed a look of satisfaction on his face. This elixir should be able to restore the injured high-level power to the second level of universal truth. However, if Kian wants to return to the ninth level of heaven and human realm, rank 7's low-grade restoration purple pill won't work. System, upgrade this soul resurrection purple pill to rank 8 supreme grade. After pondering for a while, Xiao Chen ordered to the system, formed a series of seals with his hands, and then clicked on the elixir. Ding, the system has deducted 32,000 points and is upgrading the resurrection purple pill for the host. As the system prompt tone fell, the dazzling white light shined again. The originally dim resurrection purple pill burst into bright purple light. Pill patterns were like spider webs, and they condensed on the pill in an instant. Vast medicinal power fluctuates, sweeping away like a tsunami, Kyan's eyes widened with a look of horror. This turned out to be a rank 8 supreme grade elixir, infinitely close to the saint rank treasure. This is almost a legendary item among the seven dynasties of the eastern wasteland. Once it appears in this world, it will shock the entire eastern wasteland and cause many celestial human realm powerhouses to fight. Unexpectedly, she could actually witness the birth of the Rank 8 Supreme Grade Elixir. What's even more outrageous is, this Rank 8 Supreme Grade Elixir was randomly refined by Xiao Chen. Although Kian has never seen any Saint Rank Alchemist, but she had a strong intuition that even the Saint Rank Master of Alchemy still couldn't do what Xiao Chen was like. Young Master, it's really shocking. The Rank 8 Supreme Grade Elixir is equivalent to Heavenly Rank Supreme Grade. It only consumes 32,000 points, which is still within the acceptable range. Looking at the rank 8 supreme grade resurrection purple pill in front of me, which is enough to make the world go crazy. Xiao Chen's expression didn't fluctuate much. After muttering something, he waved the pill to Kai Yan. Here, this rank 8 supreme grade resurrection purple pill should restore you to your peak cultivation level. That kind of casual look as if the rank 8 supreme grade elixir in front of me is just a jelly bean used to coax children. 
This made Kayan stunned on the spot. She still remembered that when her cultivation reached the ninth level of universal truth, in order to perfectly break through to the celestial human realm. She fought with a group of strong human beings for three days and three nights before she snatched a heavenly rank elixir from these people. And the quality of the elixir that almost caused her death was heavenly rank middle grade at best. But now, she got a heavenly rank supreme grade elixir without any effort, which was dozens of times more precious than the previous one. This made her feel complicated for a while. Why are you looking at me like that? Seeing Kayan's eyes trembling, she was still staring at him. Xiao Chen felt a little creepy and could only ask with a surprised look on his face. This woman suddenly looked so scary, she looked like she was going to eat him. Could it be that he was bewitched by this pill and planned to dissect him and seize his creation? When Xiao Chen finished speaking, Kayan also came back to her senses at this time, with a look of determination in her eyes, as if she had made some decision. Then she took off her veil, revealing her beautiful face. Admire the beauty of Queen Medusa. Chapter 54 You, what do you want to do? Seeing the prostrate body, the snow-white ravines are fully visible. Xiao Chen actually felt panic at this moment when Queen Medusa crawled towards him. Very meow. This hazy and trembling gaze, this alluring and alluring red lips. And with this devilish body, coupled with this beautiful face, who can bear to crawl over like this? Could it be that he is an estrus and you want to crawl over to him? Sir, I'm offended. After making up her mind, Kayan whispered to Xiao Chen and pounced like a tigress. Xiao Chen was pushed to the ground on the spot. This king, I want to favor the young master today. Looking at the confused Xiao Chen, Kayan was completely prepared to fight. She immediately spoke to Xiao Chen very domineeringly in her usual tone as a queen. Immediately afterwards, when Xiao Chen looked shocked when he heard this and his pupils couldn't help but dilate, Kayan leaned down at this moment. Damn it, I'm not ready yet, woo woo woo. Seeing Kayan who was forcibly suppressing him and completely taking the initiative, Xiao Chen could only resist in humiliation. But before he could finish speaking, his mouth was completely blocked. Life, if sometimes you can't resist, it's better to open your heart and enjoy it, maybe you can experience a different kind of happiness. Xiao Chen used to think this sentence was ridiculous, but now he found that it seemed to make sense. Just like now, he is in pain but also happy. Comma 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 comma. Early morning hours, Xiao Chen lay on the carpet with his eyes blank. He felt that this life that he could not resist seemed to be a bit physically harmful to him. Although I had already been mentally prepared, I felt that I would be unable to defeat Queen Medusa. But he never expected it. With the blessing of his cultivation and bloodline, the opponent's fighting power would be so fierce that he would almost die from exhaustion on the spot. She truly deserves to be Queen Medusa, her fighting power is so terrifying. No, I want to become stronger. I must cultivate into the ancient kidney body and teach this Queen Medusa a lesson. Lie down on the carpet. Looking at the satisfied Queen Medusa beside her, she had put on her clothes and taken the purple pill of resurrection, and was sitting cross-legged on the bed, silently refining the majestic power of the medicine. Xiao Chen struggled to get up from the ground and swore angrily. The painful and joyful shame last night must be paid back one day. Hiss, my cultivation level. Dot has actually broken through to the revolving core realm. When the thoughts fall in my mind. Only then did Xiao Chen realize that his cultivation level had broken through to the Xuandan realm, and it was still the astonishing third level of Xuandan realm. Moreover, the foundation of cultivation in the body is extremely solid, and there is no futility caused by excessive breakthroughs. It was as if he had taken some essence of heaven and earth to undergo such an astonishing transformation. This put a look of shock on his face. I didn't expect Kayan's blood nourishment to have such a strong effect. Thinking of Kayan's crazy look last night, it seemed that she wanted to pass on all the power of pure yin to him. I didn't care whether he might not be able to bear it anymore, so I just helped him practice all night. After thinking for a while, Xiao Chen shook his head with a wry smile, and then he understood the reason. Alas, from now on, there is another fatal weakness. Looking at Kayan with her eyes closed not far away, Xiao Chen suddenly sighed with emotion. I thought it would take a long time before there would be any substantial progress, but I didn't expect the queen to be so proactive and domineering. A man was moved in his heart and immediately took him in his arms. 
he is under a lot of pressure now. After all, he had just transmigrated here a few days ago, and his cultivation base was finally a little weaker. Compared to a strong person like Queen Medusa who has been practicing for hundreds of years, his current level of cultivation is no different than that of an ant. It seems that we can only train her and let her eat soft food first. Shaking his head, Xiao Chen put on his clothes and waved to tidy up the room without disturbing Kayan. Then he took out several fragments of the resurrection purple pill, and after spending more than 300,000 points, he successfully produced a rank 7 supreme grade resurrection purple pill. There are also two resurrection purple pills, which have been upgraded to rank 8. Xiao Chen plans to auction these in exchange for resources, so he doesn't skimp on points for this operation. Originally, he wanted to save some points to upgrade some profound rank elixirs, which could be used to improve his cultivation. However, after obtaining Kayan's primordial yin, his cultivation level improved by leaps and bounds. In a short period of time, the cultivation level cannot be improved quickly again and can only be used to exchange for more resources. In this way, the points will exceed the 800,000 mark as soon as possible and help Kayan upgrade her bloodline to break through the Saint Realm. There are more than 80,000 points left. Looking at the points balance on the property panel, a look of surprise appeared on Xiao Chen's face. I didn't expect that after some operations, there would still be so many points left. This was thanks to Morong Fu giving him all the information about the Morong family, otherwise it would be difficult for him to have more than 80,000 points left. Next, first transfer this soul-reviving purple pill to Mr. Morong, and then go to the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. After looking at Kayan, who would not wake up in a short time, Xiao Chen walked out of the wing while murmuring words, and not long after, he came to the Hall of Morong's house. At this time, the Hall of Morong's house had a completely new look after last night's emergency repairs. Morong Fu looked at the notice presented by his servants and couldn't help showing a look of shock on his face. Morong Bo, on the other hand, was stretching his muscles outside the hall, as if he was adapting to this reborn body. Mr. Xiao, you look good today. Seeing Xiao Chen suddenly appear, Morong Bo immediately smiled and said. This made Xiao Chen's mouth twitch. He looks so good, he was almost drained last night, and his legs are still a little shaky now. But you can't say this, Xiao Chen immediately said with a smile. Mr. Morong looks very good too. He must have adapted to the current situation. With that said, before Morong Bo could say anything, Xiao Chen took out the elixir bottle. This is the purple pill of restoration from yesterday. I will re-sacrifice it and purify it, which is enough to restore you to your peak cultivation level. After saying that, while Xiao Chen's true energy surged, the elixir bottle floated over. This move. Immediately, Morong Bo and Morong Fu froze on the spot with shocked faces. The purple pill of restoration that Xiao Chen worked so hard to obtain yesterday was returned to their hands today. And it has also been refined and purified. What exactly is this operation? Chapter 55 Young Master, you will not receive any rewards for your merits. This elixir, I don't dare to accept it. Seeing the pill bottle in front of him, Morong Bo was silent for a moment, then shook his head with a wry smile. As the saying goes, a person's words are long and his hands are short. The Morong family has already endured Xiao Chen's huge kindness, how could they have the nerve to take other people's things, let alone the priceless rank 7 elixir? It doesn't matter. Yesterday's purple pill of restoration and the resources you gave me have already helped me gain a lot. So just accept this purple pill of restoration. Xiao Chen said with a slight smile upon hearing this. Seeing what Morong Bo wanted to say, he raised his hand and continued to add. If you feel you really deserve it, wait until you fully recover your cultivation. Just help me collect some resources to offset this elixir. Using a pill to exchange the loyalty of the entire Morong family is definitely a sure profit in terms of long-term benefits. Thank you for your kindness, Master. After hearing what Xiao Chen said, Morong Bo did not shirk anymore, but accepted it with a grateful face. He tried to restore his cultivation last night, but without external help. It can only return to the third level of body tempering in one night. If you want to return to the second level of universal truth, you can't do it within a few years. With the help of this resurrection purple pill, he might be able to fully recover within two or three days. This is the horror of high-level elixirs. 
Sir, the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce will hold an auction in two days. I wonder if you would be interested in joining in the fun. When Morong Bo put away the elixir, Morong Fu on the side held the invitation and asked Xiao Chen with a faint smile. Now that the Xiao family's affairs have been resolved, all that remains is the daughter's lifelong happiness. In order to create opportunities for Morong Qingxie, Xiao Chen must be kept at Morong's house for a few days. I've known about this for a long time. Xiao Chen smiled lightly when he heard this and glanced at the invitation. Speaking of which, I know that you have the purple pill of restoration in your hands, and I only found out about it after being reminded by Cloud Mountain. With that said, Xiao Chen took the invitation, opened it and glanced at it. He was a little curious. Xi'an Chamber of Commerce will auction it in two days. Apart from the pills he provided, what other rare treasures are there? Ha, earth rank flying treasure, wind god wing. This seems like a good thing. After scanning the auction list on the invitation, Xiao Chen was immediately attracted to one of the items. Before his cultivation reaches the Grotto Heaven Realm, the martial artist cannot cross the void unless there are some flying treasures to help him. Although there are some flying treasures in the system mall, he can only exchange them for profound rank treasures due to his limited cultivation. The most important thing is that he cannot improve the quality of the items redeemed in the system mall. So although Xiao Chen was a little tempted before, he still didn't redeem it in the mall. After all, flying treasures at the profound rank level are a bit useless to him. But if he can find flying treasures in the outside world, he can synthesize or upgrade them through the system. As long as he has enough points, he can even directly upgrade to saint rank, let alone heavenly rank level flying treasure. By then, with a high level flying treasure, he will not only be able to fly freely. He can also possess terrifying physical skills and even abnormally strong defense. We must get this flying treasure. As the thoughts in his heart fell, a strange color appeared in Xiao Chen's eyes. Ha, huh, there is actually a heavenly rank pill. Xuanqing Snow Lotus Pill. After making up his mind, Xiao Chen glanced at another object, with a look of surprise on his face. Xuanqing Snow Lotus Pill. This is a rare healing elixir that can not only repair physical injuries, but also has a purifying effect on true energy. It can purify some fire poisons and some high-level toxins. Therefore, Xuanqing Snow Lotus Pill, even in the eyes of celestial human realm experts, is a rare life-saving trump card. Unexpectedly, the grand finale of this auction would be this heavenly rank elixir. This actually made Xiao Chen a little curious, what could this bottom line thing be? Young master, are you interested in this auction? After noticing the change in Xiao Chen's expression, Morong Fu's eyes also lit up, and then he said impatiently. The auction will not start until two days. Why not stay at Morong's house for these two days? We will go to the auction venue together then, and we can take care of each other. Hearing Morong Fu's words and seeing the bright expression on his face, Xiao Chen suddenly had an ominous premonition. This kind of attitude, he looks a bit like the two useless elders of the Xiao family. Could it be that Morong Fu also wants to get his daughter into his bed? Well, I'll stay here temporarily for the next two days, but I have something to do now and I have to go to Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. After a moment of silence, Xiao Chen replied casually. Kayan is recovering her cultivation at this time and will not be able to get out of seclusion for a while. Staying at Morong's house these days, we can take care of each other. After saying that, Xiao Chen handed back the invitation and planned to go to Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. Master, please be patient, the old man has something to ask of me. Seeing that Xiao Chen wanted to go out alone, Morong Bo suddenly spoke. After Xiao Chen turned around after hearing this, Morong Bo coughed dryly and continued. Thanks to Mr. Xiao, Xiao Shui is now no different from ordinary people. But she hasn't stepped out of Morong's house for several years. I'm afraid she still hasn't been able to adjust her state of mind. And Mr. Xiao and Xiao Shui are very close to each other, so I would like to implore Mr. Xiao. Can you take Xiao Shui out to relax and help us enlighten this child? After saying that, Morong Bo patted Morong Fu, and the two of them bowed to Xiao Chen, their attitudes seemed very sincere. This made Xiao Chen's mouth twitch. Okay, he guessed right, he wanted to give it to a woman again. He had been tortured by Queen Medusa all night last night, and there were three women waiting eagerly in the Xiao family. 
Now come to Morong's house and another stunning beauty comes. Is it possible that he is really destined to fall in love and will be beautiful for the rest of his life? Grandpa, do you think I dress well today? When Xiao Chen felt depressed, a clear voice came and Morong Qingxie also appeared in the inner courtyard. Well, what Morong Qingxie looks like today? Young master. After stepping into the gate of the inner courtyard, seeing Morong Bo and Morong Fu bowing to Xiao Chen, Morong Qingxie was immediately stunned, thinking that they were discussing some important matter. Xiao Chen also looked over at this time, and his eyes lit up slightly when he saw Morong Qingxue's outfit. She is indeed a beauty who can compete with Queen Medusa. She has a different charm after changing her clothes today. Ha ha ha, my Xiao Shui looks good in anything she wears. Seeing Morong Qingxie not far away, Morong Bo raised his head and laughed. Master Xiao is going to Xi'an Chamber of Commerce, and you also want to go out to relax, so why don't you two just be company? Quote question mark exclamation mark question mark quote. Hearing Morong Bo's words, Morong Qingxie was a little confused. When was she going to relax? But seeing Morong Bo winking at her, Morong Qingxie remembered what Morong Bo said yesterday and understood that the other party was creating opportunities for her. His face, which was still a little confused at first, turned a little red at this moment. As long as it doesn't disturb young Master Xiao, Qingxie will go with us to have a look. Morong Qingxie came to Xiao Chen with a blushing face, and Morong Qingxie responded in a low voice. After saying that, he didn't even dare to raise his head. He could only pinch the corners of his clothes nervously, for fear of being rejected by Xiao Chen. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Chapter 56. This won't bother you. Seeing Morong Bo and Morong Fu looking nervous, Morong Qingxie almost had his clothes ripped to pieces. Xiao Chen said with a slight smile. Although he feels a little sad that his luck in love is too good, Xiao Chen will not be so hypocritical as to push beautiful women out. So after thinking about it for a while, Xiao Chen didn't refuse. Thank you, Mr. Xiao. After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Morong Bo and Morong Fu were overjoyed, and even Morong Qingxie raised her head sharply. However, after meeting Xiao Chen's gaze, he lowered his head nervously and shyly. A heart is more like a small deer bumping around, beating constantly under the giant thing. The young master did not reject her. This means, Mr. Xiao is not disgusted with her at present, and even has a little favorable impression of her. Therefore, as long as she works hard and becomes better. Maybe in the future, like the woman in red, she could always be by Mr. Xiao's side and share his worries. It can even warm the bed and help the young master carry on the family lineage. Thinking of this, Morong Qingxue's face turned even redder, and her body was trembling slightly with excitement. Let's go. Seeing Morong Qingxie lowering her head and shaking with excitement, Xiao Chen suddenly touched his chin in embarrassment. After saying these two words, he turned around and walked out. It turns out that this is the feeling of being chased. No wonder those beauties in the previous life were floating. This feeling, there are indeed hundreds of millions of bits of fun. Currently, this is based on the premise that the other party is a beauty. If it were replaced by the tall and thick Ruhua sister, he would probably become very anxious. Master, wait for me. Seeing Xiao Chen walking out first, Morong Qingxie looked up sharply. After glancing at Morong Fu and Morong Bo, and feeling the encouragement from the two elders, they chased after them. Sure enough, it's a female college student who doesn't stay in college. Morong Fu looked at the two people's leaving figures and murmured with emotion for a moment. However, before he could finish his words, he received a slap on the forehead. I won't be able to save a head. Xiao Shui is so lucky to meet Mr. Xiao. Do you still want her to stay in Morong's house and cry in tears like before? After being scolded by his father, Morong Fu raised his head in grievance. Although his current cultivation level could kill the opponent with one slap, he did not dare to make any mistakes. What are you doing standing there stupidly? Hurry up and follow. Seeing Morong Fu's stupid appearance, Morong Bo was furious again, and then he said with hatred. Tiandu City is going to hold an auction in the next few days, and there must be forces from all sides arriving one after another. You can really trust Mr. Xiao and your daughter to go out like this, why don't you hurry up and follow them to protect their two ancestors in secret? If someone with no eyesight collides with Mr. Xiao, do you think I will hang you up and serve you after I recover my cultivation? 
After hearing Morong Bo's words, Morong Fu also woke up. There are a lot of good things in this auction, and there are even heavenly rank items. There are more than one or two first-rate forces attracted here. Even the top forces of the Great Qian Dynasty will even send some cronies over. Thinking about it at this time, this has doubled the pressure on the city lord's mansion. I hope nothing will happen in the past few days. When the thought falls, after Morong Fu responded to Morong Bo, he secretly followed Xiao Chen and Morong Qingxie. Morong Bo shook his head and turned back to the side room. There are still two days left. He should be able to refine the Soul Resurrection Purple Pill and restore his cultivation to the second level of universal truth. By then, with him as the old city lord around, the Morong family's status in Tiandu City will be even more secure. Comma, 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 comma. The other side. Xiao Chen and Morong Qingxie also arrived at Xi'an Chamber of Commerce after walking for half an hour. Along the way, Morong Qingxie was a little cautious at first, but after seeing various stalls on the street, his expression changed from nervous at the beginning to curious and excited at the end. Even when I saw a building that was different from what I remembered from my childhood, I was able to talk a lot to Xiao Chen. That kind of cheerfulness that got rid of the shadow of the past, coupled with that beautiful face, made many practitioners stunned. But fortunately, there is no one who is short-sighted and dares to come up and cause trouble in broad daylight. So the two of them came to Xi'an Chamber of Commerce smoothly. Sir, you are finally back. Elder Cloud Mountain has invited you. When Xiao Chen led Morong Qingxie into the lobby, the maid at the front desk who had received them last time walked over with excitement on her face. Lead the way. Xiao Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows when he heard this. Did Cloud Mountain have something important to do with him? Feeling a little curious in their hearts, the two of them also came to the VIP room to wait. Ha ha ha, Mr. Xiao, it seems that he didn't spend the night in the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce yesterday. Could it be that he thought our Chamber of Commerce didn't provide good hospitality? As a voice came with a loud laugh, Cloud Mountain came to the VIP room. However, when he saw that the person beside Xiao Chen was not Kyan, he couldn't help but be stunned for a moment. Hey, who is this? Looking at Morong Qingxue's strange yet beautiful face. Even though Cloud Mountain was old, he couldn't help but stare blankly at this moment, and immediately asked with some surprise. This young master Xiao is really lucky. Yesterday I followed a stunning woman in red, and today I followed an inexperienced woman in white. This appearance and temperament are almost as good as that of the stunningly talented young lady from their Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. Her name is Morong Qingxie. Xiao Chen just smiled lightly when he heard this and said Morong Qingxue's name. Morong Qingxie. This name is so familiar. Hiss. Dot Xi. Dot Xi is Morong Fu's daughter. Hearing Xiao Chen's words, Cloud Mountain was stunned for a moment and then thought of something. The pupils shrank violently at this moment, and his face showed a look of disbelief. Morong Qingxie, isn't it rumored that he has red spots on his face and red hair all over his body, and looks like an uncivilized monkey? Why is she now a stunning beauty who is not inferior to the eldest lady of their Xi'an Chamber of Commerce? Could it be? In this shock, Cloud Mountain seemed to have thought of something and looked at Xiao Chen in shock. Good. It was me who cured Miss Morong, and I successfully obtained a soul-reviving purple pill. Seeing Cloud Mountain's guess, Xiao Chen nodded and said. As he spoke, he took out a pill bottle without any ink marks. This resurrection purple pill is the finished product obtained by refining the Morong family's pill using my own secret method. You should auction it together in two days. After saying that, Xiao Chen let go of the elixir bottle and sipped the tea calmly. This is just the finished elixir obtained by Xiao Chen after repairing one of the fragments of the Resurrection Purple Pill. No quality upgrade has been carried out, so the grade is only rank 7. As for the other restoring purple pills, he has no plans to sell them for the time being. The reason why he did this was because he was worried about being suspected by the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce, so other pills could only be sold in the future. After all, the Morong family only has one purple pill of restoration, and the world also knows that it is a low-quality rank 7 pill. And he was still looking for the soul-reviving purple pill yesterday, and today he can come up with a bunch of soul-reviving purple pill, which will inevitably lead to the suspicion of the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. Other Restoring Purple Pills 
we can only wait for him to give Zian Chamber of Commerce a hint and exchange them for resources after a while. Chapter 57 Resurrection Resurrection Spirit Purple Pill After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Cloud Mountain took a sharp breath, with a look of confusion on his face. Sir, are you sure, to auction this thing? The soul reviving purple pill I just got yesterday was put up for auction today. The thoughts of Mr. Xiao were really unpredictable. He thought that Xiao Chen came to inquire about the purple pill of restoration yesterday to restore his fallen cultivation to someone, but he didn't expect that the other party would put it up for auction after getting it. This is simply a mysterious operation. Don't be so surprised. Seeing Cloud Mountain looking at him with a weird look on his face, Xiao Chen waved his hand and replied calmly. This resurrection purple pill. I have used a unique secret method to analyze the ingredients and sent all the information to my master. With my master's ability, I believe that the elixir formula will be available in the near future. By then, there will be as many rejuvenating purple elixirs as you need. So this low-grade rank 7 soul restoring purple pill is of little use to me now. These words are not meant to be pretentious. It was just to provide a more reasonable explanation for the future sale of other resurrection purple pills. As long as this information is passed to the Xian Chamber of Commerce headquarters through Cloud Mountain's mouth, he will definitely be a VIP of the Xian Chamber of Commerce in the future. Hiss. By analyzing the ingredients of the elixir through secret methods, can we deduce the corresponding elixir recipe? After Cloud Mountain heard what Xiao Chen said, he was almost frightened on the spot. Although some heavenly rank alchemists can also analyze some low-level elixirs and deduce the corresponding elixir recipes. This is limited to elixirs below profound rank. For elixirs of rank 5 or above, even if the corresponding ingredients are known, there is no corresponding method. There are also how to control the fire in the furnace, the order of elixir refining and integrated union. If there is a slight mistake, it is almost impossible to refine the finished elixir, and it is even possible to refine it into a poisonous elixir or a useless elixir. And the resurrection purple pill is a heavenly rank pill. I have never heard of any heavenly rank alchemist in the Great Qian Dynasty who can analyze heavenly rank elixirs. The master behind Mr. Xiao must be a saint rank alchemist. And it is still a terrifying existence that has reached its peak in the saint rank level. When his heart was overwhelmed with shock, Cloud Mountain tremblingly picked up the elixir bottle, and then poured out the resurrection purple pill inside. Although the purple elixir has no elixir pattern, it exudes a strong elixir fragrance. This elixir is of excellent color and has a rich and mellow aroma. It looks like it has just been refined. Master Xiao, is this definitely the one from the Morong family? After careful observation and identification, Cloud Mountain looked up with a shocked expression. The Morong family's purple pill of restoration has been around for 13 years now. No matter how well it is preserved, a lot of its medicinal power will be lost. But the restoring purple pill in front of me is of high-grade quality and potency, and it doesn't look like a long-stored pill at all. This makes Cloud Mountain a bit unclear. Didn't I just say that this elixir was refined by me using secret techniques, so the quality is as good as it is now? Seeing Cloud Mountain's expression of disbelief, Xiao Chen didn't feel angry at all and just explained with a slight smile. After all, a pill has been stored for 13 years and still has such powerful medicinal power. Any normal person would be suspicious. If you still can't believe it, you can use professional equipment to test it. After speaking, Xiao Chen took a sip of tea, without any panic on his face. Fraud is totally unnecessary for him. Ha ha ha, Mr. Xiao is joking. After hearing Xiao Chen's words, Cloud Mountain immediately laughed and then put away the soul-reviving purple pill. But this auction is no longer in charge of me. I have to report it first. Originally, he only applied for an auction, but the Xian Chamber of Commerce headquarters gave him full authority to handle it. But because Xiao Chen took out a lot of supreme-grade elixirs. After he reported everything about Xiao Chen and the list of items to the Chamber of Commerce headquarters, the Xian Chamber of Commerce unexpectedly decided to take photos of a few more valuable things temporarily, and would also send someone over to host the auction. And this person turned out to be the eldest lady of the Xian Chamber of Commerce, a proud woman well-known in the Great Qian Dynasty. Purple. Therefore, Cloud Mountain is not the first person in charge of this auction, but this young lady who has not officially arrived in Tiandu City is. 
you're not in charge anymore. Xiao Chen's eyes narrowed slightly when he heard this, and he looked at Cloud Mountain doubtfully. Ha ha ha, that's right. The auction will now be hosted by Miss Zaluo. I want to introduce you to you when I see you today. After saying that, Cloud Mountain glanced at Morong Qingxie and couldn't help but reveal a strange color in his eyes. In his impression, Zi Luo was no less beautiful than Morong Qingxie and even had a more mature charm than her. It would be a feast for his eyes to see these two women appear together later. Zi Luo, after hearing this somewhat familiar name, Xiao Chen couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. When he was inquiring about information about Zian Chamber of Commerce yesterday, he heard this name from others. It is said that the president of the Xian Chamber of Commerce gave birth to a daughter when he was 138 years old. She is the daughter of Heaven who is loved by thousands of people in the Xian Chamber of Commerce. Not only did Marshall Dao's talent reach the heavenly rank, he also cultivated to the ninth level of Xuandan at the age of 23. Even his business talent is top-notch. At a young age, he has already hosted dozens of large-scale auctions and even generated astonishing revenue of 1 billion for Xi'an Chamber of Commerce in these years. She is regarded by the world as one of the three talented women of the Great Qian Dynasty and has even attracted the pursuit and support of many geniuses. Quite famous within the Great Qian Dynasty. Unexpectedly, Zi Luo would be alerted to this auction. Ha ha ha, actually Miss Zaluo came here mainly for Mr. Xiao. The headquarters knows that the master of the young master is an expert hermit, so they want to discuss some cooperation matters with the young master. And I'm not old enough for this kind of thing, so the headquarters sent Miss Zaluo here. Cloud Mountain had nothing to hide and immediately explained it to Xiao Chen. Calculating the time, Miss Zaluo's flying profound arc should be arriving at Tiandu City soon. If Xiao Chen has nothing important to do, why not just wait here at the Chamber of Commerce for a while? Branch President, Miss Zaluo's profound arc has arrived. Just as Cloud Mountain finished speaking, a maid suddenly ran in and reported nervously. This came faster than expected. It seems that Miss Zaluo attaches great importance to Mr. Xiao. After hearing the maid's report, Cloud Mountain stood up suddenly and cupped his hands towards Xiao Chen. Mr. Xiao, please wait here for a moment. I have to go greet Miss Zaluo. After saying that, before Xiao Chen could answer, Cloud Mountain ran out happily. One of the three talented women of Great Qian Dynasty. Looking at Cloud Mountain's leaving figure, Xiao Chen took a sip of tea and his eyes couldn't help but twinkle. If we can establish a cooperative relationship with Xian Chamber of Commerce through this rich lady. Then if he wants to collect resources in the future, it will be much easier than imagined. Even in a short period of time, it is easy to get the points to exceed 800,000. When thoughts fall, Xiao Chen's face showed a hint of excitement, and he also had a strong interest in Zaluo. This scene, Morong Qingxie saw everything. Seeing that Xiao Chen seemed to be interested in Zi Luo, Morong Qingxue's expression couldn't help but become a little sad. The young master really likes excellent women. It seemed like she had to work harder to get the young master interested. When the thought fell, Morong Qingxie showed determination in her eyes. She wanted to become even better for young master Xiao. In this life, I am crazy about the young master, crazy about the young master, and have children for the young master. Chapter 58 Half an hour later, after waiting patiently, Cloud Mountain turned back again. Ha ha ha, Mr. Xiao has been waiting for a long time. This is Miss Zaluo from our Chamber of Commerce headquarters. As Cloud Mountain's voice came, several figures also walked into the wing. This made Xiao Chen and Morong Qingxie both look up. When they saw the leading woman, both of them had a look of surprise in their eyes. Her lavender hair draped down her shoulders like a waterfall, exuding an elegant beauty. The beautiful face is like a fairy in a painting, and paired with the enchanting red lips, it shows a different kind of charm. This person is Zi Luo, the daughter of the Xian Chamber of Commerce and one of the three most talented women in the Great Qian Dynasty. Image of Violet so beautiful, seeing Zi Luo walking in, Morong Qingxie couldn't help but sigh, and her expression became a little inferior. Although her current appearance and figure are not much worse than the woman in front of her. But this person has a charming and mature charm, as well as a graceful, elegant and confident temperament. It all gave her an incomparable sense of loss. 
She is indeed the daughter of the president of the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce, even if we don't mention Marshall Dow's talent and business talent. Just this appearance and temperament can make countless women feel ashamed. When the thought falls, Morong Qingxie looked at Xiao Chen, wanting to see his reaction. However, Morong Qingxue's expression was slightly startled when she saw that Xiao Chen was only looking at him admiringly and not showing any intoxication. It seems that the beauty next to Mr. Xiao is no weaker than Zi Luo in appearance and temperament. If not, Mr. Xiao would not be so indifferent, he must have seen too many beauties like this. Master Xiao, I've kept you waiting for a long time. Seeing the handsome Xiao Chen in front of her, Zi Luo showed an apologetic smile after walking into the wing. Along the way, she had already heard Cloud Mountain report everything about Xiao Chen, and even learned that the other party had just taken out a soul-reviving purple pill. He could even analyze the ingredients of the elixir through secret methods and pass the information to his master to deduce the elixir recipe. The most outrageous thing is, Xiao Chen himself can refine the elixir through secret methods and restore the damaged elixir to its peak. This kind of thing was simply unheard of, and it refreshed her understanding of alchemy. Only an alchemy master who has reached the saint rank level may be able to create such a terrifying secret method. So, from the moment she left the Xuanzhou to the time she entered the Chamber of Commerce, Zi Luo's attention to Xiao Chen had reached a rare level. It doesn't matter, Xiao Chen stood up after hearing this and replied indifferently. I've heard for a long time that Miss Zi Luo is one of the three most talented women in the dynasty. Today, when I see her, she truly deserves her reputation. After some polite exchanges, Xiao Chen didn't praise the other party too much, but asked straight to the point. Miss Zaluo, I heard from the Cloud Mountain Elder. This time, in addition to hosting this auction, do you also want to discuss cooperation with Xiao? The words fell. Immediately, a strange color appeared in Zi Luo's eyes, and she glanced at Xiao Chen appreciatively. In the past, when other men talked to her, they would stare at her with burning eyes. I can't wait to say a lot of good things in an attempt to please this eldest lady. Unexpectedly, Xiao Chen was so indifferent, and his eyes had no burning meaning, as if he had no interest in her. This made Zi Luo feel quite fond of her, and of course she also aroused a sense of curiosity. Since Mr. Xiao speaks quickly, we won't beat around the bush. Zi Luo smiled charmingly when she heard this, and then asked tentatively. I don't know. Can we meet the master behind Mr. Xiao through Mr. Xiao's recommendation? She and her father originally speculated on the information passed through Cloud Mountain. The master behind Xiao Chen is a heavenly rank alchemy master. But now, after learning the new information about Xiao Chen, she feels that the person behind Xiao Chen is probably a saint rank alchemist. If you can meet this kind of existence, win him over to the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. The Xi'an Chamber of Commerce's status within the Great Qian Dynasty will even surpass that of the Dakion royal family in the near future. After all, the energy possessed by a saint-rank alchemist is more terrifying than that of a saint-rank expert. If Xi'an Chamber of Commerce has a saint-rank alchemist sitting in charge, by then, not to mention the strong men of the Great Qian Dynasty, even the strong men of other dynasties in the Eastern Wasteland will come to Xi'an Chamber of Commerce one after another and the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce will become one of the transcendent apex-level forces within the seven dynasties of the Eastern Wasteland. Sorry, my master has always kept aloof from the world. He likes to live alone in the mountains and does not want to be disturbed by outsiders. Even though I am master's disciple, I cannot bring outsiders to see him without authorization. Xiao Chen smiled lightly when he heard this and refused Zi Luo's proposal. It's such a pity. After hearing Xiao Chen's words, although Zi Luo felt a little regretful, she was not angry at all. After a pause, he said with a smile, Although I can't see Master Xiao's charisma, it's a blessing to be able to make friends with such a talented person as Master Xiao. With that said, before Xiao Chen could reply, Zi Luo took out a token. This is the token held by the honorary elder of our Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. I would like to invite the young master to serve as the honorary elder of the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. If there is nothing important, we won't ask the young master to do things. Only when the Chamber of Commerce encounters some difficulties, the young master can help as much as possible. As an honorary elder of the Chamber of Commerce, 
not only can the young master receive 1 million spiritual crystals as a salary every year, but he can also get 90% of the profits from the auctioned items. You can even enjoy a 20% discount when shopping at any branch of the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce with this token. And once the Chamber of Commerce obtains any treasure, if the young master needs it, it will have priority to purchase it. Without asking Xiao Chen what he wanted from cooperation, Zuluo offered a lot of benefits. This not only shocked Xiao Chen, but also Cloud Mountain and Morong Qingxie who were standing by were shocked and dumbfounded. Honorary Elder of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce there have always been only some celestial human realm powerhouses, or some heavenly rank alchemy masters, to be eligible for this benefit. Unexpectedly, this Miss Zaluo would invite Xiao Chen as soon as she came up. It seemed that Zi Luo valued Xiao Chen more than they imagined. As expected of the eldest lady of the Xian Chamber of Commerce, this courage is really unmatched by ordinary people. After Xiao Chen was silent for a while, he first praised Zi Luo, and then said something meaningful in his voice. But Xiao is just a young man. You invite Xiao to become an honorary elder. Aren't you afraid that Xiao will not be able to bring benefits to the Chamber of Commerce, and that other honorary elders will also have opinions? The honorary elder of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce is a symbol of identity and status. There are many powerful people who are unable to become honorary elders despite all their efforts. If people knew that Zi Luo made an 18-year-old junior become an honorary elder without any contribution. I'm afraid some senior officials of the Chamber of Commerce will have some opinions. Zi Luo is right in judging people. Mr. Xiao can become the honorary elder of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. Maybe our Xi'an Chamber of Commerce has taken advantage of him. Hearing this, Zi Luo did not answer the question directly, but just replied with a smile in a joking manner. As for the Chamber of Commerce, they won't have any objections. Some people. Dot the Chamber of Commerce has done its best to support them. If you still have any objections, I don't mind a big purge. At the end of this sentence, he became a bit cold and domineering. It's like a business queen declaring her status. Chapter 59. As these words fell, there was a sudden silence in the VIP room. Whether it was Cloud Mountain, Morong Qingxie, or Zi Luo, the protector, all had expressions of disbelief on their faces. Although she knew Zi Luo wanted to win over Xiao Chen, she didn't expect her attitude to be so determined. Even if there is opposition from high-level officials within the Chamber of Commerce, can she even carry out a purge for Xiao Chen? This Miss Zi Luo must have fallen in love with Mr. Xiao at first sight, right? Since Ms. Zaluo has already said this, it would seem a bit artificial if Xiao makes excuses again. When others were shocked, Xiao Chen said with a slight smile, and then reached out to take the token. He originally wanted to cooperate with Xi'an Chamber of Commerce to use the other party's energy to collect more resources and items. Becoming an honorary elder of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce is just a name in the Chamber of Commerce, but you can enjoy a series of benefits. For him, the advantages undoubtedly outweighed the disadvantages, and he had absolutely no reason to refuse the other party. No way. This young lady has given me too much. Thank you Mr. Xiao for the favor. Zi Luo smiled charmingly when she heard this, and then bowed slightly to Xiao Chen. The appearance of a wealthy lady made Xiao Chen very fond of her. Xiao has gained a position in the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce, and he will not eat food and do nothing in the future. Next. Xiao will contact my master and ask him to refine a batch of elixirs and send them over. Under Zi Luo's surprised look, Xiao Chen smiled lightly and threw a big bang. As long as the Chamber of Commerce can help my master collect a large amount of resources and items, my master can not only provide the Chamber of Commerce with some high-level elixirs, but also some high-level mysterious weapons and even some high-level formation discs. After hearing what Xiao Chen said, Zi Luo couldn't help but be stunned for a moment. Master Xiao, is it possible that your master also knows how to refine weapons and set up formations? Well, it's all slightly involved. Xiao Chen smiled lightly when he heard this and said in a calm voice. He likes to delve into other disciplines in his spare time, so he also has some experience in weapon refining and formation formation. Simply getting some heavenly rank mysterious weapons or heavenly rank formation discs is a trivial matter for him. This rhetoric is not to show off or show off, but to pave the way for the sale of mysterious weapons and formation discs. Hiss. 
Could it be that Mr. Xiao's master is an all-around saint rank expert? After hearing what Xiao Chen said, Zi Luo and others took a sharp breath and couldn't help but have this thought in their minds. If Xiao Chen hadn't exaggerated, Zi and Chamber of Commerce would have embraced it this time. Master has always been mysterious. I don't know what level he has reached, but there should be few people in the eastern wasteland who can compare with him. Xiao Chen continued to brag after hearing this, directly shaping this master into an invincible character. By then, as he gradually reveals more things in the future, even the world will know his extraordinary qualities. This persona can also be used as a means of protection. Even if some people are greedy for what he has on him, they still haven't fully figured out the master behind him. I don't have the guts to take risks. Unless the other party is a brainless person, or has a blood feud with him. Mr. Xiao, I heard from Elder Cloud Mountain about collecting resources and items before I came to Tiandu City. Although I came in a bit of a hurry this time, I also brought a batch of supplies from the headquarters. I just wonder if I can satisfy Master Ling. After taking a deep breath to calm down, Zi Luo seemed to have thought of something. He took off a Na ring on his hand and handed it to Xiao Chen. This is a batch of waste materials that Zian Chamber of Commerce has stored in Dakion Imperial City for a long time. Its value should be between 5 and 6 million spiritual crystals. They even brought resources. Xiao Chen's eyes lit up when he heard this, and he immediately took the ring. As the spiritual sense penetrated, he saw that the huge space ring was filled with mountains of supplies. Even Xiao Chen was startled, and his breathing even became a little rapid. This amount of supplies is about 70% to 80% more than what Cloud Mountain gave him yesterday. It is indeed the Zian Chamber of Commerce. A random sum of resources would be more than what he could collect by running around. Cooperating with Zian Chamber of Commerce is indeed the right choice. Here is another picture of Zaluo. This one was made by the author using the previous original picture as a template. I posted the original picture in the comment area. I wonder if it can be displayed. How much does Miss Zaluo bid for this batch of supplies? After scanning the supplies, Xiao Chen raised his head and asked. The price given by the Chamber of Commerce for this batch of supplies is 5.8 million spiritual crystals. However, Mr. Xiao is already an honorary elder of the Chamber of Commerce and can enjoy a 20% discount on any item purchased. That's 4.64 million spiritual crystals. Zi Luo smiled slightly when she heard this, and then quoted the price. But when Xiao Chen was about to speak, her eyes flickered and she continued. However, today is Mr. Xiao's first day in the Chamber of Commerce. He should enjoy some more discounts. The remaining Zaluo will help Mr. Xiao make a zero. Zi Luo only received 4 million spirit crystals from the young master for this batch of supplies. It would be difficult to explain to Zi Luo no matter how low he goes back. Hiss. Here the last price Zi Luo gave. Cloud Mountain. Morong Qingxie, and the old woman in green were all shocked and gasped. The resources of 5.8 million spiritual crystals were abruptly reduced to 4 million. A full 1.8 million spiritual crystals are missing. Such a huge amount of money, even the Lord's Mansion of Tiandu City, would not be able to come up with it within a few years. Is this Miss Zaluo from the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce, or from Mr. Xiao in front of me? With such a reverse bargaining transaction, are you really not afraid that Zian Chamber of Commerce will lose money? Miss Zaluo is really a passionate person. Xiao Chen looked at Zi Luo with admiration, and his favorability level soared again. This woman was willing to spend so much money in order to win over him. She is indeed one of the three most talented women in the Great Qian Dynasty. However, Xiao only has 1.38 million spiritual crystals on him, and he still owes Elder Cloud Mountain 3 million spiritual crystals that he has not paid back. When the thoughts in his mind came to an end, Xiao Chen coughed and said awkwardly. It doesn't matter. Hearing Xiao Chen's words, Zi Luo waved her hands and said. Young Master Xiao can owe these 7 million spiritual crystals for the time being, and you can make up for them when you have them. The unconcerned look seemed like these 7 million spiritual crystals were nothing to Zi Luo. Since Miss Zaluo trusts Xiao so much, Xiao is too embarrassed to say anything. After this auction is over, I will ask my master to send a batch of elixirs. There will be at least 8 rank 7 soul restoration purple pills and 2 rank 8 soul restoration purple pills. 
as for the quality of the elixirs, if nothing else, they should all be supreme grade. After putting away the space ring, Xiao Chen said to Zi Luo with a faint smile. These words made Zi Luo, Cloud Mountain and others look shocked, and they all looked at Xiao Chen in disbelief. Rank 7 Restoration Purple Pill In the past, a single crystal could be auctioned for more than a million spirit crystals, and if it was supreme grade, it could even fetch two or three times more. And Rank 8's A Resurrection Purple Pill In the past, one crystal could be auctioned for more than five million, and if it was supreme grade, it could also be sold for two or three times more. Therefore, if Xiao Chen can really come up with so many soul resurrecting purple pills, this will be a big deal worth 20 to 30 million. Master Xiao, are you sure? After Zi Luo took a deep breath, she asked with a trembling voice. If Xiao Chen can really provide so many soul restoring purple pills, the Xian Chamber of Commerce can use this as a bargaining chip and hold many large scale auctions across the dynasty. You can even use the purple pill of restoration to snare some strong men whose cultivation has declined. By then, the Xian Chamber of Commerce will become even stronger. Xiao always does what he says. Xiao Chen just smiled lightly when he heard this, and his words showed strong confidence. Giving Xian Chamber of Commerce elixirs to auction will always be harmless to him. Any system repair synthesis or upgraded elixir. After being taken by others, they all have indirect contact with him. As long as he spends another 3,000 points, he can make this indirect connection. Let the system secretly plant a contract with this person, so that this person will have a fanatical impression of him. That is to say, even a person with advanced cultivation can find a way to turn him into one of his own as long as he takes Xiao Chen's elixir. Besides, for any mysterious weapon or formation disc that has been repaired, synthesized, or upgraded by the system, even if it is transferred to others for refining and use, he is still the first person to control this treasure. This is another abnormality of the system. Chapter 60. In that case, Zi Luo will wait for Mr. Xiao's good news. Seeing Xiao Chen's confident look, Zi Luo revealed a charming smile. Ha ha ha, Miss Zi Luo, I heard that you are coming to Tiandu City to host an auction. My prince rushed over here without stopping, but I didn't expect to arrive a step later than you. Just when Zi Luo finished her words, Xiao Chen was about to reply. As a loud laugh came, several figures also broke into the side room. This sudden intrusion of an uninvited guest made Xiao Chen and others frown and look towards the entrance of the room. Xian Chamber of Commerce is guarded by strict guards, and they were able to break in while they were discussing important matters. It seems that the identity of this group of people is not simple. When the thought fell, Xiao Chen also saw the person clearly. The leader was a young man wearing a golden python pattern, followed by several other figures, two of whom he recognized. It was Nalan Shiji and the old man in grey who went to Morong's house to break off their engagement yesterday. I didn't expect to bump into each other here. We really are enemies on the same road. Qingxie, Nalan Shiji, who just walked in, also saw Xiao Chen and Morong Qingxie. This made him look slightly stunned, and then he remembered what happened yesterday, with blazing anger in his eyes. His Royal Highness the Fifth Prince broke into the VIP room of the Chamber of Commerce without permission. Are you doing this, a bit overbearing and rude? Seeing the man in brocade clothes in front of her, Zi Luo frowned slightly and said in a cold voice. This person is the fifth son of the great Qian dynasty Zhenin King, a martial Dao genius with heavenly rank middle grade talent. He has cultivated to the ninth level of Xuandan at the age of 24. His name is Yang Xiao. He is also one of her crazy suitors, but he is disgusted by his domineering behavior. However, because the other party was the eldest son of Zhenin Palace, Zi Luo couldn't completely break up with this guy, so she could only tolerate some of his behavior. Ha ha ha, my prince also wants to see Miss Zi Luo so much. This will inevitably be a bit abrupt in the emergency. Looking at the woman in front of him who was one year younger than him but with the same cultivation level as him, Yang Xiao's eyes looked very hot. She has a beautiful face and a talent even better than him. He even has a good background behind him, and his talent is even more stunning to the dynasty. Such a perfect woman must be his concubine, Yang Xiao. Hey, who is this? After silently reciting in his mind that he wanted to get Zaluo, Yang Xiao looked at Xiao Chen aside. Is this guy, who is so close to Zi Luo, also a suitor? 
Your Highness, this person, is the person I mentioned to you before. The person next to him is Morong Qingshe. Just as Yang Xiao finished speaking, Nalan Shiji on the side couldn't wait to stand up and say. After saying that, he stared at Xiao Chen jealously, and couldn't help clenching his fists tightly. If it hadn't been for this person's appearance yesterday, how could he be humiliated if he broke off the engagement at Morong's house? And how could Morong Qingshe transform from an alien who was not worthy of him to a woman that made him drool? The humiliation he suffered yesterday was all thanks to this guy Xiao Chen. What? After hearing Nalan Shiji's words, Yang Xiao's expression couldn't help but change. He stared at Xiao Chen, then laughed and said, Ha ha ha, brother Xiao, I was planning to find you. I didn't expect to meet you here. It seems that the two of us are really destined. After his eyes flickered, Yang Xiao walked up to Xiao Chen and extended an invitation to Xiao Chen. I've heard about you. You have cultivated to the seventh level of spiritual aperture when you are only 18 years old. Marshall Dao's talent is even more evil than my eldest son. Even in just a few moments, Morong Qingshe can be cured. That kind of miraculous medical method would make even alchemy King Ji Yu Qinghe feel ashamed. As these words fell, Zi Luo couldn't help but widen her eyes. He looked at Xiao Chen in disbelief, and glanced at Morong Qingshe next to him. She actually knew a little bit about Morong Qingshe. Unexpectedly, something that even Ji Yu Qinghe couldn't handle was easily solved by Xiao Chen in front of him. Even the opponent's talent is very evil. You know, even if she has the talent of Martial Dao with a high heavenly rank, she only reached the second level of spiritual aperture when she was 18 years old. And Xiao Chen can reach the seventh level of spiritual aperture at the age of 18. How monstrous is this talent? She wanted to get in touch with the mysterious master through Xiao Chen, but she didn't expect that Xiao Chen himself was such a monster. This time, making Xiao Chen the honorary elder of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce is definitely the wisest decision he has ever made in his life. Brother Xiao, I would like to invite you to join Zhenin Palace and become a follower of my son. When this prince becomes the new generation of Zhenin King in the future, you will be my right-hand man. When Zi Luo was shocked, Yang Xiao said in a strong voice. These two sentences may seem like invitations, but in reality they are irrefutable. After all, he is the eldest son of the Zhenin Palace. It is a great honor for the other party to invite others so actively. Your Highness the Fifth Prince, Mr. Xiao is the honorary elder of the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. I'm afraid it wouldn't be good for you to poach people in front of me, right? When Xiao Chen frowned slightly when he heard this, Zi Luo beside him couldn't help but said. This Yang Xiao wanted to improve his status in the heart of Zhenin King. It really took a lot of effort. Not only did he put his idea on her head, but now he even wanted to win over Mr. Xiao. What? He is the honorary elder of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. Hearing these two words from Zi Luo, Yang Xiao's pupils shrank sharply. Even Nalan Shiji and the old man in grey on the side had expressions of disbelief. Honorary Elder of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce. But they are all celestial human realm experts, or heavenly rank alchemists and weapon refiners, and of course there are also rare formation masters. Each of these people are old guys who have lived for hundreds of years, or even hundreds of years. And Xiao Chen is only 18 years old and can reach this step. It was unbelievable to him. Ha ha ha. Brother Xiao can become the honorary elder of Xi'an Chamber of Commerce at such a young age. It seems that Miss Ziluo values you very much. Seeing that Zi Luo seemed to care about Xiao Chen, Yang Xiao's eyes flashed with a cold light, and then he continued to invite with a smile on his face. But that's okay. My prince and Miss Ziluo have a close relationship. Zhenin Prince's palace and Xi'an Chamber of Commerce are like brothers. In a sense, they can be regarded as one family. Since Brother Xiao serves as an elder at the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce, why not also work for our Zhenin Prince's mansion at the same time? This can also be mutually beneficial. I wonder what Brother Xiao thinks. As the words fell, the room became dead silent. Nalan Shiji stared at Xiao Chen with a look of jealousy, his back molars almost shattered at this moment. The same age of 18. Xiao Chen has not only become an honorary elder of the Xi'an Chamber of Commerce, but his status is equivalent to that of some celestial human realm powerhouses. Even the Prince of Zhenin did not hesitate to lose face to win over the other party. This would simply make him explode with jealousy. 
It's really irritating. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.